In this demo, we're going to look at how to create a simple service. And the best way to understand how a service works is by starting simply and creating a basic one so that you understand the foundation of it. Now, a service is an application in Android that runs in the background, and it doesn't require the user to interact with it. There's nothing on the user interface for them to use or modify. So an example of this may be an app where you have a background sound running. The user doesn't interact with it, it's just running as a service. Another example might be an app where it's continually logging the GPS coordinates of the device and getting updates, and that kind of information can happen in the background. So what I've done is I've started a new app called Simple Service, and it's for Android 2.3.3. And the only thing I've done so far is I've set up my main XML to have two buttons, one to start a service and the other one to stop service. And so we're going to implement the code in here and be able to get a toast message to see that these indeed are stopping and stopping a service that we're going to start. So we're going to create a service and then learn how to stop and start it. So my first step is going to be to create a new class file in my project. So I'm just going to right click on my package name and choose new class. And I'm going to name it my services. And I'm going to browse for the super class. And in this case, our super class is going to be service. And as you can see here, we have a few different types of service but it's not going to be a Bluetooth and it's not security, so we're going to go with the first service option. And then I'm going to click Finish. So you can see our new class extends the service base class. So all services will extend the services class. Now within the My Service class, we have a method that was automatically generated, the iBinder onBind method. And the onBind method enables you to bind an activity to a service. And then this lets an activity directly access members and methods that are inside a service. So for right now, we're just returning null, but we'll come back to that at another point. Now to explicitly start a service, we're going to use an onStart command method. Okay, so here is the onStart command method. This method is called when you start a service explicitly using the start service method, which we haven't implemented just yet. So this will start the service and it will do the things that you need to do. So in this case, our things that we're going to do is we're just going to make a toast. And we have as a return value, start sticky. When we use the constant start sticky, it will keep the service going until it's explicitly stopped. So that means it's going to keep going until we hit our stop service button. So since this on start method is going to be called from the start service method, the start service method is going to be in our main Java file and will be initiated when the start service button is tapped. So we'll finish up setting up our services Java page and then we'll go in and set up our main Java page. And next we want an on destroy method and the on destroy method is going to be called when the user taps the stop service button. Okay so here is our on destroy method. So we have super on destroy and it's going to make a toast saying that our service was stopped. So again, this is going to be connected to our stop service button from our main XML. So now we can open up our default Java file and we'll set up this file for starting and stopping our services. Okay, so I've added some code in here for finding the button for the start button to start the service. We have an on click listener and the on click listener is going to call the start service method. And I can see here that um, with the method, I'm trying to start the my services Java file, but it doesn't seem to find it too well. And when I look over here, I realize now that my Java file isn't in the same location as my uh, simple service file. 
So what I want to do, I'm going to move this. I'm going to move this Java file. So I'm going to make sure this is saved. And I like to close the file before I move it just to help keep things clean. And I'm just going to right click on my Java file. And when you're moving a file, uh, it's a good idea to use the refactor to move it rather than just clicking and dragging it. So I'm going to tell it to move it into the EDU simple service folder. So now it moved everything. So if I open up simple service Java file, then yes, now it does find my services class. So that is to start the service. And I really want it to do the same thing for the stop service. The only difference is this is going to be stop service and then this is going to be the button for stop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this block of code and this is going to be button stop. So I'm just setting these up to match the buttons that I have and this is going to be to stop service and everything else remains the same. Okay, so I have my files set up and in place so I'm going to uh, do a, a run. Okay, so I'm going to try to start service and I don't get a toast. I don't get anything happening. It's not crashing either. So one more thing we have to set up in order to get this to work. We have to set up our manifest file. So I'm going to go into the manifest file and we have to register this service. So I'm just going to go in right before the closing application tag and we'll add the service. Now when you name your things, we can put the, the dot in there or the, it's optional. So it does not have to have that dot in there. So you'll see it listed both ways. All right, so we'll save this and let me run it again and let's see if there's any changes in this. Okay, so we have our toast and that toast is going to run and when we stop the service, we have a toast for service stopped. And that's all it's doing, but we are starting and stopping the service. If we come back in here and look at your services Java file, right, we can see that this is what's actually calling and starting the toast. So when the on start, this is being called by the button to start the service. The button is going to the simple service Java file, your main Java file, right? We're recognizing the button click. The button click is calling start service and start service is going to the my services class. So start service is going to come up to my services Java. It calls the on start command, which will then in this case, very simply just display a toast. And this is going, this service is running until we explicitly stop it, which is what start sticky refers to. We have to explicitly stop that service. And then the same process happens for the stop service button. So our Java is listening for the stop button to be clicked. When the stop button is clicked, it's going to do the stop service method. Stop service method is going to come in here and do the on destroy and that in essence stops the service and then we show a toast that that happened. So that in a nutshell is a very basic and simple service example.